Hello and welcome to Gravity Sketch. We're going to show you how to use the application and some of the core features. We won't go into super depth in this video, but we'll go into enough detail so you can get started and create some cool stuff. So we'll start off with the drawing hand. And this is the hand that has the cursor, so a little blue dot hanging out there, and the red sphere around where your hand is that's encapsulating the grip button. So to sketch, pull the trigger on your drawing hand. To change color, press directly down the joystick and hold. You can also drag your color around if it's in the way. And then when you release, you'll have the new color. You can sketch with that new color. To increase the thickness of your brush, on the joystick go left and right. So make it a bit thicker. And now to this red sphere that's hanging out on your hand there. So that's for grabbing and manipulating geometry once you've already created it. So to do so, you intersect the geometry, press the grip button, and then you can grab and move your geometry around. You could also duplicate by pulling the trigger while you're holding that geometry. And you could change its color while you're holding it, pushing directly down the joystick and accessing the color. When you do that, you'll notice that the stroke snaps right back into place. So we'll do that one more time. We'll move this, press the joystick, the stroke snaps back into place there, and then we can change its color. So to delete or to undo something that you weren't happy with, push the red button on this drawing hand. So you can delete and it sequentially undoes and deletes. And with the non-drawing hand, you can actually bring things back by rewinding time and going forward in time with the joystick in a counterclockwise and clockwise motion. So now we've brought everything back and we can go all the way forward. This also holds the tools, so the additional tools. So by pushing directly down the joystick, you can access your revolve, your surface tool, planar surface, and your primitives. So let's look at the revolve. The revolve is a two-hand gesture. We'll change the color here. Um, to do the two-hand gestures, you usually start off with a non-drawing hands trigger. So for the revolve, you pull the trigger and you get the axis of your revolve. If you half pull the trigger, you could actually snap that axis at increments. So let's keep it perpendicular with the space, release the trigger, and then you can create revolves around that axis. We can grab that, move that out of the way, create another revolve, or we can just change the revolve. To move the whole scene, use your non-drawing hand grip, and you can move it around. To scale, use your non-drawing hand's grip with the drawing hand's grip and move your hands apart and together. Now to scale individual objects, grab that object and while you're holding it, use the grip on the non-drawing hand and move your hands apart and together. So we can scale this really far down, make a few copies here. Let's try another tool. This is the curved surface tool. This is also a two-handed gesture. So we'll pull the left trigger or your non-drawing hands trigger first. You get a preview here of the line. And then when you pull your drawing hands trigger, you start to make this ribbon-like shape. And as you move your hands apart and together, and even pitch them, you can change and influence that curvature. Let's go grab this and put this back here. This is your tools and settings save menu. So you have a little bit of everything. You have some tool features, some settings, and you're saving. Um, here you can access things like a mirror plane. You can access your stock images or images that you've added. So you can just grab those out like you would normally. Some stock content, so we'll pull a chair into the scene. As well as your layers. Now one thing to point out is anything with a green bar in Gravity Sketch can be grabbed and brought into your environment. So we took that away from the hand, we brought it into the environment, and we can scale that up. And this is now something that we can start working with actively. So we can add a separ another layer here, and to move objects to this other layer, grab that object and shove it into the funnel here. The object will snap back into place, but now it's trapped on that layer. So we can lock that layer, or we can change the opacity of the layer, or completely make it invisible. So we've learned most of the tools here. Let's go ahead and look at one more tool. We'll look at the primitives tool. The primitives tool is another two-handed gesture. So you pull the left trigger first, then the right trigger. 
And this is actually a gesture that when you release both triggers, you have the geometry. So by moving your hands apart, you can influence all the dimensions of this cube. It's another great tool to highlight the tool assets and tool management tab. So for that, you open up your tools, click again on the tool that's highlighted, and now you'll have a panel. So you could drag that panel off, you could scale that panel up as well. We'll move our panels a little bit, make a workstation. And I can grab another primitive. This is a pyramid trim primitive. And it works very similarly. Two hand gesture. Same with the pill primitive. So two hand gesture, moving your hands apart and together influences the shapes. And this panel is quite interesting because every tool has some additional settings that you can influence and access. So for example, on the revolve here, we can change the angle of the revolve, we can change the trigger mode for the revolve, the cross section, and everything will show up here in real time. So you kind of get a live preview of what you're actually doing with the geometry. And in our surface and in, in our stroke tools, we can actually change the cross section of the stroke. We can add symmetry to the stroke, which will then rely on a two-handed gesture. And we can do a whole lot of additional features with the trigger input method. So we can change it to a pressure style input method where you just feather the trigger and you can influence the size and the shape of the stroke. You could also inverse that behavior. So there's all the tools for Gravity Sketch and some of their features that you can edit and enhance. To delete these menus, just grab them, or actually to remove them, just grab them and press the red button on the drawing hand and you'll throw them back into the non-drawing hands um, accessible through the, um, the, the buttons on the non-drawing hand. Now, another really great powerful feature of Gravity Sketch is the ability to edit what you've already created. So to do that, you grab any piece of geometry. So let's start with our strokes. And this time, don't worry about moving it out of place because once you press the blue button on the non-drawing hand, it snaps back into place. And now you get all your control points. So with these control points, you can manipulate the stroke in real time. You can delete control points. You can reduce the number of control points here on this control point menu. So you get a slightly smoother stroke. You can also add more control points. So you can influence the geometry dramatically. Um, in real time, you can change the thickness of your stroke, the cross section of your, se section of your stroke. Um, the ends of the stroke can be capped and uncapped. And you can also loop the stroke. So that completely makes it a closed loop stroke. This is app wide with all the geometry. So revolve works very similarly. You can change the, the behavior of the revolve, the thickness of the revolve here as well as the cross section. All of this happening in real time. To exit, press the blue button. And last but not least is the curved surface tool. So here, if we access the points, we can really start to shape and sculpt the surface just by using the points. And we can delete points and bring more points in as needed. So those are the core features of Gravity Sketch. There's loads more in the application, and um, we're happy to make more videos to help explore the tool and, and share some insights and, and uh, some tips and tricks. So please do request some additional videos, and we hope you really enjoy the tool. Can't wait to see what you guys make.